<coughs> Safety first, right? Hey guys, Patriot Contraptions, welcome back. And today we are working on my John Deere 214, building a tractor cab for it. My budget is tighter than a shoestring for this project. So I'm using 2x4s and 2x2s to construct the frame of my snow cab. It's then attached to the tractor using some quarter 20 bolts, which are sunk through where the hand grips normally go on the wheel wells of this tractor's frame. Then if you go right down by the front where your feet go, I've constructed a couple of customized brackets that wrap around the tractor's frame and hold my cab to it securely in place. As you can see, I've been working on this build for some time now since the last footage. It's actually been, well, three hours since the last take. I've been working on the build about six hours now. This is definitely an all-day, maybe a two-day project at this point. But I have gotten a number of things done. I've got the back wall in. I've got the roof on. I've got the rear wall in on the tractor. I also have this support being here in position. That's going to allow me to fold a little like hood section up and thus I'll be able to actually access the motor if I need to during operation. I then have to cut this piece of plexiglass in half. The reason I have to cut this in half is for the side windows and it was cheaper to buy this. It was 10 bucks to buy this piece and cut it in half to get a 1 foot by 18 inch window for each side as opposed to buying for 6 bucks a piece two pieces of 6 inch by 10 for the windows. So the next step is to cut this sheet of plexiglass in half I have here. And they do sell a tool for this. Problem is I don't own that tool and I'm not gonna go spend almost as much as the plexiglass to buy that tool and just to cut one piece. So what I'm gonna try to do is all that tool does is it scrapes the surface and it allows you to crack the plexiglass over a smooth straight edge. So what I'm gonna use, I'm using use this screw here. It's got a very sharp tip. I'm just gonna try dragging it right along the edge where I want to cut it and I'm going to do several passes and hopefully what that will do is that will allow me to break this plexiglass successfully and mount it onto the tractor without any issues. Let's give it a shot. Hold it in both hands and they say you just apply smooth pressure down. Ah! Look at that! <laughs> Perfect! Success. Bingo. Yeah. The breaking of that plexiglass made my day, but when I opened the tractor's hood to check its clearance on the snow cab's frame, I found out that the oil hasn't been changed in the tractor, so we're going to go ahead and change the oil in this tractor. Okay, so we're under the tractor now, as you probably noticed, and I found the drain plug. It is located right here on the bottom of the engine, so I'm going to start up the tractor and drain the oil out and we'll get that changed. Now I've got the tractor running for quite a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and change the oil after it's warmed up. While the oil was draining I read a bunch of forums on oil types to put in the engine and ended up going with 5W20 just because that's what the store had. So many options out there I don't really know which one's best. That engine oil debate ended up taking a lot more time than I thought and pushing me into my second day of construction a little behind schedule. Real quick before we get started on the build again, I wanted to show you guys what the tractor looked like from the other side since I realized I hadn't shown that yesterday. So here it is, got the plywood all on the other side yesterday. Also we've done some work on the back of the cab here. So it gives you an idea where we're at right now. Still got a ways to go. Day two went a lot like day one. Cut a piece of plywood, Hold it up to the tractor, see if it fits. If not, make minor adjustments. However, I did manage to catch up enough time by just about when it was getting dark, I had the cab completed. I'm probably the only person around right now actually wanting snow, just so I can try this cab out. Anyway, check this out inside. I got the door on and got the windows cut, just about ready for paint. I'm gonna fire up the heater to warm up and check this out, the door swings open. Ta-da, back into the studio. Oh, sweetness, look at that. We have got an actual cab on our tractor. All in a weekend's work. <laughs> and it's not over yet. 
Here we go. Let's get some paint on that puppy. Once the heater was running, the garage warmed up enough where I could paint the tractor. And surprise, surprise, it started snowing. So it's frosty and snowy outside. But you know what? Got major contractions. We're not worried because we have a secret weapon. <laughs> Just in time for the big snow, my John Deere 214 snow cab is ready to rock and roll. The next morning we did indeed have snow and I was able to take the cab out for a test drive. I put the windows on using a couple pieces of furring strip and simply sandwiching the plexiglass in between for the time being. And it worked great. Check it out. And with that successful test of the snow blower and snow cab combination, it concludes this episode of Patriot Contraptions. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate every single subscriber. These videos don't cost you anything to watch, but they cost me a lot of time and money to produce. So, I appreciate every one of my subscribers. Also, if you have any comments or questions for me, please leave them below. I do my best to read every single comment and reply to them if I can. Thank you, and have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out, and I'll see you in the next episode.